Hi guys, my name is Christine and I'm a dating, relationship and personal development coach and today I'm talking about don't fight to keep people. So it doesn't matter if you're if this is like a romantic thing that you've got in your head right now and you're thinking about your date or it doesn't matter if it's a friend or a family member, you shouldn't have to fight to keep people in your life. The only time you may need to do something like that and you it requires you to try and make amends with someone and really try and get them back into your life is if you've really messed up. Um, let's say you dumped your girlfriend or boyfriend when you when you was just angry and you didn't mean it, then maybe you need to do a bit of begging then, maybe, because you've messed up and it was your fault and you need to apologize and say, I made a mistake, I didn't want to I didn't want the breakup to happen, I was just in a really bad mood, I'm really sorry. Let's see if we can figure this out. When are you free to hang out? So we can resolve this. You know, sometimes you do need to fight if you messed up. Okay, but the majority of the time, that's not usually the case. What sometimes happens, especially with a breakup, um, especially if they dumped you, then that person doesn't want to be with you anymore. And you shouldn't fight to try and keep someone in your life who doesn't want to be there anymore. And you must be acutely aware of these people who don't want you in their life anymore. So people that dump you, if they, would, if they, if they loved you, if they wanted you in their life, they wouldn't have dumped you. So you have to let those people go. You should don't fight to try and keep them in their in your life because they don't want to be fought for. And even if they do, even if they dump you thinking that you're just going to fight for them and beg for them to come back, are you sure you really want to be with someone who plays those kinds of games? Because there are people out there that will break up with you as punishment. And then because they know that you're head over heels in love with them, you're just going to chase after them. My advice for you is to not do that. Because if they're going to be playing those kinds of games, your life is going to be just one roller coaster of emotions and dealing with someone who just doesn't know how to communicate properly and doesn't know how to communicate things in a non-hurtful way, like breaking up with you. Right? If they break up with you as punishment, because they know that you're going to come back, bad way to go, bad person to be with, you don't want to be with them, let them go and make someone else's life hell, <laughs> okay, so you can get occasions like that where they do want you to fight but it's for narcissistic reasons or just for really childish reasons as well, uh, so you've got to be acutely aware of that, so you've got to be sort of look at your inner circle and think of like the, the people that you're hanging out with as well because it could be that you're putting all the effort into a friendship, and um, your friend is just sort of like a bit of a vampire, right? And doesn't ever like give back and they just take, take, take. Um, so you need to be acutely aware of, of that kind of situation as well. So you may have a friend who you say, hey, do you want to hang out? And they're like, yeah, sure, I'd love to hang out. But they never um, arrange anything or they never invite you out and you're the one that's always inviting them out. So... Because with friendships and also with romantic stuff as well, you know, you, you want to find someone who reciprocates. So if you're hanging out with a friend, you know, that you invite them out, you invite them to hang out with you. Maybe you invite them around yours for like a game night or whatever. And they, they, they come and they have a, you have a great time. And then a couple of weeks later, they may invite you to do something. Or if you've got a long sort of drawn out friendship, maybe you just meet each other a couple of times a year, but you're both involved in it. It's not like you're the one that's always doing the work and you're the one that's keeping it alive. And if you figure out that you're the one that's actually keeping it alive and you're the one that's always inviting them out and um, they sort of just enjoy the moment, maybe take, take, take from you, um, but they never give back. And friendships really are a, a give or take, give and take a situation. So, and the relationship, so you've got to be acutely aware of that, because you don't want to be around by users, and you shouldn't have to fight to keep that friendship alive, right? Friendships are a two-way street, you know, it's, it goes both ways. So, when it comes to romantic relationships as well, is that, you know, if someone doesn't want to be in your life anymore, or they're not showing a great level of enthusiasm like what you are, then you need to let these people go. So, for example, let's say you're going out on dates and you're the one that's keeping the conversation alive 
um, and you're extending the invitation to go out with them and they maybe they show up, maybe they don't, but you're the one that's always in communication with them. And yeah, they talk to you, but it's hard to get them out on a date. You know, these are people that are just hot and cold. And it's not a good idea to be pursuing people who are hot and cold because it again it's just another whirlwind of emotion another roller coaster of emotion and it's not exactly the most healthiest position for you to be in you want to find someone who's enthusiastic about you who you don't have to question whether or not they like you you know because you know they you ask them out they show up on the date you have a great time you have fun you have an enjoyable experience together um things lead quite straightforwardly into a relationship there's not many roadblocks to make that happen you know it's just very easy and effortless and those are the kinds of relationships that are the best kind of ones to have because if you're having to fight to uh, get someone's attention and to get them to go out with you it's just a huge time suck and usually those relationships it never ends in a relationship anyway that person either just ends up ghosting you or it just fizzles out when you stop talking to them and it just shows that that person had a lack of interest and you don't want to waste time trying to keep that kind of thing alive trying to keep it going just because you have the hots for them because it's going to end eventually and you're just wasting your time when you could have been spending time finding someone who actually was interested so it's important to sort of sift through the people that you're talking to when you're dating and sifting out the ones that are really enthusiastic about you and the ones that are on the fence and the ones that are not interested at all. It may be a bit uh, cold, but sometimes if you're talking to someone and it's just not going anywhere, you have to cut them off. And Because if you're looking for a relationship and you're looking for something serious, then you can't be wasting your time with these time wasters. It's just... A waste of time <laughs> okay and I remember um, I had a situation like this uh, when I was in my early 20s there was a girl that I was talking to and she said that she liked me and we would sometimes hang out um, we were both at uni at the time she was at a different university so whenever we did hang out it was usually like over the holidays and stuff and I thought that she really really liked me and then all of a sudden she said oh um, I'm seeing someone um, I'm in a relationship now, goodbye. And all this time, I thought something was going to happen out of this, um, but I should have been picking up on the red flags that nothing was going to happen from it because um, I kept on asking her if she wanted to do, you know, be more serious with me and she was always like on the fence, not really knowing. How, you know, she always gave me these sort of like really confusing answers like I'm not really sure or I don't know what my friends at uni will think if I'm in a relationship, you know, these, all these different kinds of excuses. And then all of a sudden she was in a relationship with someone else. And it's like, what? I didn't understand. And it's all because I just didn't pay enough attention. And I was too busy thinking about how I felt and how I didn't want to lose her instead of picking up on her behavior and thinking this person isn't actually showing me that interest, much interest, because I should have thought of, thought about it more logically rather than emotionally. And I know it's difficult to think um, to think logically when you're involved in an emotional situation where you don't really want to let go of someone. But if I had thought about it logically, it would have been something like this. Okay, so I really, really like her. I would do all I could to spend time with her. If she asked me to, I would go on a train and go to her uni right now to just to spend time with her. But she's not willing to do that kind of thing for me. She's not willing to hang out um, uh, with me in a more romantic way because when we did hang out, it was more platonic. Um, she's not willing to be in a relationship with me even though I would be in a relationship with her at the drop of a hat. And if I thought about that logically, then what I would have discovered is that I'm interested and she's not that interested. She's on the fence. I shouldn't be wasting my time with her. Because it makes sense, yeah? If, if you really like someone... It makes sense that you would do anything to hang out with them, be with them romantically, the whole enchilada. So when someone isn't doing the same, isn't, you know, making time for you, talking about relationships with you, wanting to be with you, you know, progressing things into a relationship, progressing things intimately, if they're not doing that, then obviously they don't have high interest. Because someone who is highly interested in you will act and behave the exact same way that you would if you were highly interested. 
So you have to let these people go and you can't fight to be in their lives because it is a waste of time to do it because it's just basically what's just, you're just prolonging the, in the inevitable. Eventually they're going to leave. Eventually they're not going to want to hang out with you anymore. Eventually their the relationship is going to fizzle out because one day you're just going to give up and you're going to stop fighting. So you might as well stop giving up. You might as well start giving up now and stop fighting to keep them in your life. Don't waste your time with these time wasters. Focus on friendships, family members, lovers who are enthusiastic about you, who has just as much interest in you as you have in them. So thank you so much for watching. If you'd like to get in touch with me personally and you'd like coaching with me, then please go to www.christineloveridge.com and I shall talk to you again very soon. Goodbye.